Um, well, morning, everyone. It feels really weird, like, chatting to you all. Like, I didn't think I'd be nervous talking to my computer screen, but um, like, it's much weirder talking to you all like this than it is talking to you face to face. So I'm going to talk this morning about a verse. I'm going to see if I can share my screen. Unlike Helen, I'm not like terrified of technology, but I am a little bit, little bit anxious about it. So bear with, bear with. <laughs> bear with, bear with, bear with. <laughs> uh, can you see that one? Is that Psalm 92? Brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. So Psalm 92 says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening. And I don't know about some of you guys, but at the moment, I'm living with some people that I'm finding quite difficult to love. Um, so this one is really for all of you people who are stuck at home with someone that you are finding difficult to love. Um, I was thinking about Tana and Angela, maybe you love your children very much, but maybe you're stuck next door to someone who's difficult to love. Um, you know about your troubles with your neighbours. Um, so I just think it would be good to think about God's unfailing love because I have printed this verse. Let me see if I can share my screen again. Because I printed this verse and I've stuck it on my fridge. So if anyone wants this, I can send it to you. There we go. I have made a beautiful poster of it and I've stuck it on my fridge because it is good to proclaim God's unfailing love. And I was thinking about what it means for God's love to be unfailing. And I looked at the word unfailing and it means without error or without fault. And it means reliable and it means consistent. And I was thinking about my own love and about how my own love comes to an end quite quickly. Like my own love comes to an end as soon as my feelings get hurt, pretty much. As soon as I ask for a hug and I don't get a hug, like that's it, my feelings are hurt. Um, as soon as I feel unappreciated, as soon as I've done the dishwasher, but nobody's noticed that I've done the dishwasher, or as soon as I've cooked a nice meal and uh, nobody's remarked upon how delicious it is, like my feelings are hurt and I find it very difficult to love the people that I'm living with. Um, Especially, and another thing that I find difficult is when they fail to meet my expectations. Like that's been a real challenge for me this week, homeschooling um, and thinking about, I have quite high expectations for the people that I live with. And as soon as they don't meet those expectations and I'm disappointed and my love kind of comes to an end. Um, but God's love is not like that, is it? God's love uh, is not just expressed in Jesus's ultimate sacrifice and his physical suffering. I was thinking about how quite often God gives a physical demonstration of something that's even deeper, something that's uh, even more hurtful. So Jesus's physical sacrifice on the cross was a physical manifestation of the emotional pain and the, and the hurt that he was feeling. Um, Jesus wasn't just suffering emotion suffering physically he suffered emotionally didn't he um he was rejected he was humiliated he was scorned he was the ultimate unappreciated person he sacrificed so much and he sacrificed his life without it really being fully appreciated so god's love for us went all the way it didn't stop when his feelings got hurt like my love does but he suffered on an emotional level um, and I think we're lucky enough to not have to suffer physically. I don't know about you, like it's not really that much of a physical suffering for me to be in my nice house with my husband going out to get nice food. He does get nice food, but no more healthy choices for us, just pastries every day now that Mark's doing the shopping. Um, but it's not really that much of a physical test of endurance, but it is a test of my emotional endurance. And I was thinking about Jesus's unfailing love not just being a physical sacrifice for us, but an emotional sacrifice as well. And so because God has filled us with his love, I'm no longer reliant on my own earthly love that comes to an end or that stops. Um, I'm empowered to love my family with God's unfailing love. That means that I can sacrifice my pride 
Um, I don't need to be right every time. Um, I can sacrifice my need to be appreciated uh, and I can sacrifice my expectations. So I don't need to feel disappointed in my family. I don't need to uh, be right all the time and point out when I'm right. Um, I can serve my family and love my family unfailingly because of what God has done for us. He's filled us with his unfailing love that goes all the way. Um, and so that's kind of what I've been reflecting on this week that I wanted to share with you as an encouragement. Um, my practical tip is proclaim this, proclaim his unfailing love within earshot of your family um, whilst they're listening, tell them, proclaim it, how much God loves them and how much you love them. Um, declare it loudly and boldly. Um, and then in the evening, once you've spent the day proclaiming God's unfailing love and meditating on that love that goes all the way, regardless of how it makes God feel, regardless of the suffering that he went through, we can share it with him in that emotional suffering and, and love unfailingly. We can go all the way with that love. In the evening, what can we do? We can meditate on his faithfulness. Um, we can thank him that he hasn't given up on us. He sticks with us, he empowers us. Uh, he continues to believe in us. He continues to think that we're worth all the sacrifice and all of the pain that he went through. Um, and so because God has done that for us, we can do that for each other, can't we? Um, I don't have to give up on my children. I don't have to give up on my child. I don't have to give up on um, my expectations in some ways. Like I can continue to believe in my child. I can continue to um, love. I can continue to stick with it. Um, I don't have to give up and despair because God is faithful and so I can be faithful too. So that was just my short encouragement for this morning, uh, what I've been thinking about this week. My poster is on my fridge and each morning I'm proclaiming God's unfailing love and remembering that because he loved me first, I can love too. And my love can also be unfailing because it comes from him. So should we pray and proclaim his unfailing love over our, ourselves and over our families? All right. Amen. Amen.